Over in Kano State, enemies of Kano distracted the government for one year, according to Rabiu Musa Konkweso, leader of the Konkwesia movement and the presidential candidate of the new Niger People's Party. Konkweso expressed concern over how the opposition district distracted the Kano state government for an entire year during the declaration of the state of emergency on education in Kano state. He praised Governor Abba Kabi Yusuf for his resilience in not allowing these distractions to hinder his performance. And obstacles after obstacles. We all know what happened and what is happening in this state. Yet the governor is moving. In fact, that reminds me of our situation during my second term. I was running on 29th of May 2011. Few months after, we had a Boko Haram attack in Kano. Attack in mosques attacks in markets, in police stations, on the roads, in the schools, everywhere. Yet, we are focused, we ensure that we are not distracted. So, one more congratulation for making sure that we are not being distracted. Still in Kano on Saturday, Governor Yusuf declared a state of emergency on education and announced the employment of 5,632 teachers under the Better Education Service Delivery for All BESTA program, a World Bank initiative aimed at increasing equitable access for out-of-school children in Nigeria and improving literacy in focus states. The governor also stated his intention to improve the student-to-teacher ratio across the state to prevent situations where more than 400 schools in one senatorial zone had only one teacher for all classes, a problem inherited from the previous administration. He further lamented the decayed condition of the educational infrastructure. How can we help to nurture the next generation of scientists and engineers with the very environment in which they are meant to learn arrive with inadequacies? and deficiencies. My fellow compatriots, let us not be swayed by temptation to assign blame solely to this administration. The state of education in Kano has reached a narrow and not a recent phenomenon. Rather, it is a culmination of eight years of neglect and mismanagement by the previous administration. The neglect was systematically and deliberately affecting every facet of the education system, from infrastructure to curriculum development, and from teacher welfare to students' outcomes. I stand before you to announce the formal declaration of state of emergency in the education sector. 